All right. We are now in the green room because you got to keep the animals off the furniture. We We're joined do. by Nathan Lowe, the Indie Dog Whisperer, and Paolo's Gabru and Franklin. Yes. Um, okay. Now, Franklin is a Rottweiler. He is. And there are, these are big, lovable, sweet dogs, but there are some ground rules. There are some ground rules. And, Paulos, you got a hold of me initially, not because there was any big issue. You never bit anybody, never did anything. But what was your reason? I want to give you just a second. To yeah, yeah. So, uh, Franklin overall is a great dog. I think the one thing that I really wanted to focus on was um, how he crashes into people's spaces. Yes. So, mm -hmm. if I have guests coming over or if I walk into the house, um, he gets jumpy, mm -hmm. right? He jumps on folks. And he's he's not a small dog by any means, right? right? So and you um, were able to effectively deal with that yeah. after we worked together yeah, a little bit. Absolutely. He was telling me about his girlfriend, having to keep keep him back from your girlfriend. Yeah. He was respectful. And one of the things when when you and I were talking earlier, you like Paolo's energy around mm. this yes inherently uh, energetic dog. Yes, Paolo's is is a very got a chill vibe. And you remember when I first came out, I was like, you are the right vibe yeah. for this yeah. dog because. Yeah. He, he has good energy, he doesn't have nervous energy, um, but he's very even. Mm -hmm. And that is so good for a high energy dog. These guys came, originally they date back all the way to the 70s AD with the Roman cohorts. They used okay. to take them to herd cattle so the guys could eat. Mm -hmm. um, they made a military encampment at Rottweil, what would become Rottweil, Germany, and then the German butchers used them in the 1800s. They'd pull the meat carts, because they were stout, and they would hang the gold purses around their necks so no one would take their money. Okay. So, and, but the key, I think, to these guys, because they're a guarding breed, socialize early, socialize often when they're little. Okay, mm -hmm. so that means expose them to a wide variety of people and animals early on, and then enact a zero tolerance policy for dominance with kids or or other animals. And what I mean by that, let's say you have a three month old puppy, a Roddy, and it's going, uh -huh. I'll say, hey, and I'll give him a poke and say, we're not we're not even going there mentally. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So the Roddy learns, oh. I'm not supposed to rise up with that kind of intensity, so we keep things chill, but it has to be enforced when they're yeah. little. Now, can I play devil's advocate for a moment? Yeah, go ahead. It's great to sleep in the bed with your Rottweiler, folks. Oh, boy. Who chose you to do this segment? <laughs> <laughs> Randall, come over here. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, no, and that's where we're going next. Yeah. So we want to train Rotties away from possessive protection. Rotties are a protection breed, and what you want, and the difference is threat protection is good, Possessive protection, not good. Right. So how we avoid possessive protection is we do not let them sleep in the bed with the humans. When they sleep on your scent, they become possessive of you. Okay. And your scent in your bed is the strongest. Um, and also, like with him, hey, Bobby. no leaning body weight, full body weight against people. That's him trying to claim you. Yes. 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 So. You, rem you remembered that. Yes. George is... Like, I get, my, my dog's a lot like him. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So none of that and no paws in the lap. Like, I don't let dogs put paws in lap. Uh -huh. For power breeds like this that are guarding breeds, you have to put some no-nonsense rules in place when they're little and socialize them a lot. And they can be awesome dogs. This guy's an awesome dog. Yeah. What you see the reaction earlier, and we, you know, we saw him get kind of weird with the camera. Mm -hmm. It's high, it's big, it's over the top of him, he doesn't know what it is. Yeah, it's different. I mean, if you right. don't see a big camera on a right. tall guy every day. And height yeah. equals authority to them, and he doesn't know what the authoritative statement is. However, when Dave came back in with the camera, I gave him a few corrections, he just laid down and forgot about it. And right. that's the importance of the no-nonsense correction as well. So, hey, easy. Thank you. <laughs> see, I was just looking. Yeah, yeah I know. So, <laughs> so let's get him on his ball and see what to want this. Good boy. <laughs> sit. 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 Okay. Thank you. So there you've got it, ladies Ooh, and gentlemen. Boy. We have laid down the Rottweiler rules <laughs> with Indie Dog Whisperer Nathan Lowe.